nobody was watching But it's so hard to get to you Cause when you see the sun, I see the moon Buckets of water, millions of clouds Miles of road just to get where you are Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. This weekend, I'm going to be filming a little clinical weekend in my life video. Tonight, it is Friday night, and I have clinical Saturday morning in person at UTMB, and I have a Sunday virtual clinical this weekend as well. So I'm going to take you guys through both of those so you can get a taste of what my clinical experience is like during my second semester of nursing school. But right now, it is about 10.30 p.m., and I'm going to go to sleep. And the reason I'm doing my intro now is so I'm not too loud in the morning and also I'm always tired and in a rush But I've already packed my lunch and packed up everything I need to take with me for clinical tomorrow And I can't wait to take you guys with me this semester I'm going to be spending half of the summer at UTMB, which is very close to me. So I love that I live in Galveston It's right next to me I will be spending it on the trauma floor with my friend Maddie, so I'm really excited about that. And then the second half of the summer, I will be doing my psychiatric nursing mental health clinicals at Bent Hob in Houston. I'm really excited for both of these clinical experiences, but this right now is my med surge clinical, so I will be doing trauma throughout my med surge clinical experience this semester. I'm going to go ahead and go to sleep because I have to wake up early. I've already taken sleep aids, so I'm already getting the tiredness. But I'll see you guys in the morning, so good night. Oh, I wish it wasn't so far. Thousands of dollars just to be near. Countless thoughts of you being here. Oh, I wish it wasn't so Okay, so I just got back from clinical. It is 7.54 p.m. So it was like 13 and a half hours of clinical, but it was a good day. Um, I spent my day on the ortho and trauma unit, which I will be on for the whole semester. And honestly, I really loved it. And that's good because I was not a huge fan of cardio last semester. So I'm really enjoying this semester. I also had a really good nurse, so I loved getting to follow him around because sometimes the nurses like don't want students and he was totally fine with having students. So really appreciated that. But yeah, um, just got back though. I'm gonna shower and stuff before I talk because I feel gross and I need to take a shower. So I'll talk to you all in a second. without a screen cutting through okay so i showered i ate my dinner and i did a face mask because i'm gonna get mask knee if i don't but anyways i forgot to vlog this but i just cleaned all of my supplies with alcohol wipes twice so that they're not disgusting um i lost a pen light today so now i only have one left so if you have any pen lights let me know just kidding i can order some but anyways all my supplies are now clean so i'm putting them away it is almost 10 o'clock and i am super tired but it's fine putting everything away and then i'm going to start working on my care plan because tomorrow morning i have clinical again at 6 45 a.m so i need to be up and ready to do that where i'll have virtual patients that i need to do paperwork on as well so my paperwork from my live patient and my clinical paperwork for my virtual patients are all going to be due together by Tuesday. However, it is a lot smarter to do your paperwork as soon as you get home from clinical because sometimes you will forget things about your patient or you get like stressed with other things going on. So I'm trying to get clinical just done and over with so I can focus on my classes once 
the week starts Monday through Friday, but I'm really tired So I think I'm going to work for about an hour and try to get in bed by 11 That way I can get like six hours of sleep ish um, and wake up around five or six o'clock so I can get ready to do my virtual clinical which I have from 6 45 to noon and then I'll have from noon to the rest of the day to do the paperwork for everything combined and my goal is to be done with all my paperwork by tomorrow night so we'll see if that happens but yeah I'm going to get to work and put all this away Okay, so I just finished typing up like 90% of my clinical paperwork as far as like abnormals go. So what I normally do is in clinical, I will write down everything that's like not normal that I assess or like any medications, anything that like I won't remember off the top of my head. I write that all down and typed that up and then I leave things that are normal like Basically, like if their skin was perfectly fine, then I won't write in a skin assessment and I'll just write what a normal skin assessment would look like when I type up my documents. So that's how I normally go about doing this, but I'm really tired. It is like 1040 now and I'm going to go ahead and call it a night and take out my contacts and go to sleep. I have like very little to copy into this thing and then I need to like fill out the actual information like basically every medication i write i need to do research on it which there are approximately one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven there are 11 medications that i gave this patient so i need to do research on all of those and then i need to write my like nursing diagnosis and interventions and goals and like their diagnoses and all of their lab work so i wrote in their lab work but i have to write like the rationale and like what their lab values mean so basically i have a lot of stuff that i need to actually like write in but yeah i'm so tired and i'm starting to make silly mistakes because i'm tired so i'm gonna go ahead and go to sleep and i have clinical tomorrow morning at 6 45 a.m and I will be doing two virtual patients during that time. And then I have my post conference for that at noon. So after noon, around like one o'clock ish, I'll have the rest of my day to actually go through and do the paperwork for my two virtual patients and my real life patient. So yeah, I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Good night. pre-conference right now and I am very tired oh my goodness I have a full glass of Dr. Pepper with me as well as a Gatorade from yesterday so hydration but also caffeine you know um I haven't eaten breakfast yet I think I'm just gonna eat breakfast after this meeting because I'm not really hungry yet I'm just really tired um because I worked literally all day and worked on assignments like late at night and then here I am doing it again, so I'm only going to be getting more assignments, which is a little stressful. But I really like my instructor, so hopefully it's not the worst thing, but we'll see. Um, Shamu is very excited to attend clinical for his first time. Actually, no, he's done this before. But this semester we have the half virtual, half in person for our adult health two class, which is our med search class. And we will be hopefully fully in person by next semester because I know some of the other nursing school semesters right now are fully in person so we should probably be in person next semester but not 100% sure but I thought I would go ahead and vlog a virtual clinical for you just in case because it's something to remember for sure so yeah anyways um, I'm going to log into this meeting at 6 45 it's currently 6 38 and I'll talk to y'all after
Okay, so we just got off our pre-conference, which was actually super fast. It's only 7.06 right now, and usually those were like two hours last semester. So I love that. But now I have two patients that I need to do my simulations for, and I have to do a quiz on them beforehand, a quiz on them after the fact, and then do like medication forms and SBAR forms and stuff like that for them. So that is what I'm going to be working on. Um, but before I start doing the pre-quizzes and stuff, I usually go through um, their cases and do any research that I need to do beforehand so that I know what to do during the simulation. So that's what I'm gonna get started on right now. Okay, so at UTMB, our patients, even virtually, are not allowed to be posted because of HIPAA, even if they're not real people. But I'm gonna show you guys the simulation and not show y'all the patient so you can see kind of like what we do. Okay, so I don't wanna show the patient, but basically we can do safety measures. We can ask like a billion questions that we need to know about what's happening with the patient. We can do any types of assessments that we want to do on the patient, like that. Um, we can do any interventions. These are also all in here. Um, comfort measures, things like that. And then we can give any drugs and IV fluids. We have a bunch of drugs. You can click on them, select the route, and then set it up. And then also you can put one in if they don't already have one. And then you can do any diagnostic testing as well. You can patient handoff. We can call the provider and view their health records so we know what to do with them. So that's a look on the inside. Obviously, I'm not showing all the patient on the left, but that's what our virtual simulations appear like. Okay, so it's 8 a.m. and I just finished the pre-quiz, the simulation, and post-quiz for patient number one, and I got it all on the first try, so I don't have to redo it. So I'm moving on to patient number two. Hopefully I can get all of my virtual clinical work done by post-conference, so then I only have to worry about actual in-person clinical paperwork, but we'll see. Okay, so update. The second patient I did in two tries and I got a low score on the first try and 100 on the second try. So now I'm writing their write-ups right now, going through all their medication, writing an S-bar, writing a reflection and doing all my quizzes. I'm almost done with my second patient and then I need to go back and do my first patient medication and everything because I haven't done that yet. They have a little bit more medication that I need to go through and research. So that's what I'm working on right now, but it is 9.30 in the morning and I am so tired. So I'm actually going to sit on my bed with my blanket and like be comfortable while I finish this because I just, I'm exhausted but I'm actually getting so much done and I think that I'll be able to finish all of my clinical virtual stuff by the time we have post conference and if not very soon after and then I should hopefully be able to do the rest of my paperwork today so that's my goal and I think I will achieve it so yeah but I'm going to keep on doing this <laughs> Okay, so I got off of my post-conference, so I'm officially done with like my clinical schedule time for the day, so nobody is like stalking me and making sure that I'm still working. So what I just did was I checked out my YouTube stuff since I just uploaded, and I also watched my roommate's YouTube video, which is right here. And now I'm going to start working on my clinical paperwork so I could get it all done today. But before I do that, I'm going to change out of my outfit and get comfortable because I don't have any other expectations for Zoom calls today. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so I just changed and went down to the mailbox and Shamu got some new toys that he's not very interested in. So now I have random balls all over my room that he doesn't want to play with. And the second package I got is from Health Monitor and it is a copy of the magazines that we made. So I'm going to open it and show y'all. Well, here are all of the copies 
that I just got in the mail. So I'm about to put these all over my apartment so that everyone can read about me. Actually, I think I'll get copyrighted if I open this. So I'm just going to show you the cover. But here's a cover. Um, I'll link it down below so you guys can get a free copy or you can read it online if you want. So yeah. Okay, so Shamu is starting to get a little bit interested. Oh <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the camera. Adele is here and the weather's about to get literally horrible if you can't tell. So we're going to escape now while we can and get some Dr. Pepper and ice cream because we just want to feel something. And then we're going to continue our clinical paperwork. I'm ready with my suitcase, buddy. Clouds, will you please help me? My feet. I know that it's crazy, but I am ready with my suitcase by me. Buckets of water, millions of clouds, miles of road just to get where you are. Oh, I wish. Hello, vlog. It is 7 30 right now, and I finished all of the care plan and virtual work. So I'm done with clinical for the weekend, but I'm dead inside. So now that I'm done putting those in, I'm going to answer the questions that y'all put on my Instagram. Someone asked how the clove shoes are working out and what are the best shoes. So I cannot wear my clothes to clinical because I have to wear solid white shoes. So I wear these white chunky filas. They're like solid white because we have to wear either all white or all black and my clothes have pink on the bottom. So I just wear these and honestly, these are perfectly fine. I got them for like $35 on Amazon. They are linked in my product links for back to school shopping. So highly recommend them. They work out great. I just always wear compression socks whenever I wear shoes in general and I wear my clothes compression socks and they are legendary. 10 out of 10 recommend. They are kind of expensive, but they're worth it. Someone else asked if I get to pick the unit that I want and if I get to schedule myself for clinical. No, you do not get to pick the unit you want. You do not get to schedule yourself for clinical. You just get put where you get put and hope for the best. This semester I'm on trauma, which I really love. Last semester I was on cardiac, which I did not entirely love. So you get what you get, honestly. Okay, so someone asked what kind of stuff do you have to do in order to be cleared to go to clinical? And I think they were referring to like, what would stop you from being allowed to go. Um, so the one thing you have to do is like get like your vaccines and do all of that kind of stuff But once you've done that if you're talking about like skills you have to be validated on certain skills in order to do them in clinical so like During first semester you get validated on doing injections like subcutaneously and intramuscularly like that kind of stuff um, You do them at validations on a mannequin before you can do them on a person um, this semester we were validated on IV start and IV push the other day and we have CVC dressing change validations like next week. So that's like the kind of stuff we have to do on a mannequin before we can do it in clinical. But if you fail a validation, you still go to clinical. You just can't do those skills yet. What do you take in your clinical bag? So I kind of showed you guys earlier what I put in my bag, but basically I take my lunchbox, my clipboard, my pen lights, my stethoscope, some pens. Sometimes my iPad, if I just want to write on my iPad instead. Um, I think that's it. I try not to take too much into the hospital just because of germs and also you don't really need a lot of things on you. Okay, so those are the questions that I had on my clinical question on my Instagram. Hopefully I answered it all for you, but this is the end of my clinical weekend. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm definitely going to bed early tonight because I'm exhausted. But if you watch this whole video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. If you watch this video all the way through, comment some purple heart emojis down below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week for a week in my life. Bye.